like what made you i guess specifically steer away from just following it like that cult like way where yeah. one set failure nothing else is allowed everything else is suboptimal you're you're dumb if you don't do that yeah. like you, you know what i mean yeah. yeah the mentor was like one set to just ultimate failure and he would train like people would be trained like once every five days or something like that. Like I was never, like we were never like that. Like the guy that I trained with, it was like he had an each body part once per week. Um, and then once I went on my own after that, I was like, one's not enough. So I did two sets. So it was always two all outs since failure. That's basically how I kind of ran it after that. Um, but then once I met the other coaches at Three Muscle Journey in my late thirties, you know, Eric, Alberto, Brad, they're like, hey, why don't you, why don't you back off that intensity a little bit? Maybe throw a little more sets in there. Or, hey, how about throw some refeeds in there when you're dieting um, and things like that. Um, so it wasn't like this all-out transformation all at once. It was more like, hey, here's a suggestion. And then at first, I was there was pushback, right? Because I was just so adamant and set in my ways at that point. So it took a little bit of coaxing from them. But eventually, I let some of those walls come down. And that's what they taught me a lot, a lot about life because personally, I've always been the quiet one. I never really asked for help because that's in a sense kind of how I was brought up. So it's just kind of just, hey, I just figured things out on my own. So whenever someone was trying to give me help, it was almost like, hey, bro, I'm, it's like an attack on, on me. Like I'm not adequate enough, right? So I had to learn to accept help, learn to ask for help. And once I did that, it opened the doors up to a lot of progress, not just in the gym, but with, in real life. Um, but yeah, I just like started trying these ideas eventually. Like, okay, let me let me back the intensity down, bring the volume up. Hey, that actually feels pretty good. It actually works pretty good. I'm not as beat up as I was. Stuff that happened to me, basically, I got sucked into high intensity training. So basically, I'll give you some context to that. Yeah. So in high school, I was pretty damn jacked and I didn't have no structure.